Hi, I'm Dr. Andrew Kerr, and I'm the manager of the Dale Etheridge Planetarium at the College of Southern Nevada on the North Las Vegas campus. Welcome to the November 3rd edition of the Las Vegas Weekly Night Sky. In these videos, we want to let you know a little more about what you can go outside and look for in the nighttime sky. Now that we have set our clocks back an hour, we'll set this back an hour as well. Usually my times for the early evening were around 8 p.m., but for the rest of the fall and winter, we'll go with 7 p.m. Let's start by looking west in the early evening this week. Hercules is getting lower, as is the summer triangle of Vega, Deneb, and Altair. Over a period of about 13,000 years, the pole star will shift to become Vega, and in another 13,000 years beyond that, we'll be back to Polaris as our north star. Our axis of rotation traces out a circle in the sky over time, taking about 26,000 years to come back to where it begins. So while Polaris will not always be the North Star, in the time of ancient Egypt 5,000 years ago, the pole star was Thuban in Draco, it will be back to Polaris again in the future. Over in the south, the zodiac signs of Capricorn and Aquarius take center stage. Saturn is there as well in the early evening. The signs of the zodiac are the constellations that the sun passes through during the course of the year and also includes Ophiuchus. But due to precession, the dates associated with your birth sign are not actually accurate anymore. Remember, astrology is all made up. The moon will be in the east in the early evening this week and will be full on November 5th. The full moon is not the best time to look at the moon, as the angle of the sun leaves it looking flat, but still extremely bright. The best time to look at the moon is around the first and third quarter, and the best place to point a telescope is at the line between light and dark, also known as the terminator. This will show you the longest shadows and give you a good chance of perceiving the altitude differences at the surface. By 10 p.m. now, Jupiter has risen along with the winter constellations of Orion and Gemini. Orion is one of the easier constellations to imagine, as the central portion that makes up the body of the hunter are all fairly bright stars and visible even from the inside of a bright city. Next week, we'll start talking a little more about some of the sights in that section of the sky. Join us again next Monday for some new weekly sky highlights. I look forward to seeing you at the planetarium.